What's up guys and gals and welcome to Taste of Power. We're playing the alpha version of the game today. It's an RTS strategy game where you play as either, I think, China or European Imperials as you fight with the enemy. It's got upgrades, it's got building, it's got all of that fun stuff. So let's dive straight on in. I already went through and I did all of these right here, so we should be solid. I don't think there's too much of a problem there. So we gotta choose our nation now on the Frontier Island. Uh, we'll play on... Yeah, we'll leave it on beginner. I guess it is my first time playing. Why not? You can play as Europe or China. I'm kind of feeling the Chinese right now. We're going to play as China. I don't get to play as China very often in video games. I want to be... I get to play as medieval knights all the time. I don't get to play as China, like, hardly ever. So let's play as China. How about that? All right. Greetings to you, Commander. The enemy is actively preparing an attack. We recommend the following tips to win. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, so we got some buildings here. We got the admin building. Uh, all management of the city is here. We can take a look at things. There are four houses in our city. Each house has generated a squad of workers. They need to be sent to collect resources. Okay, to do this, we click right there. And then workers in commerce. Okay. Oh, I see what you got going on there. Okay, it adjusts. And then we get new workers, we need to build new houses. Okay. Let's build a house. Let's do it. How do I rotate the house? There we go. I want to rotate. I like all my stuff to be clean. I don't feel like that's lined up right there, but maybe it will be. Alright, so we've done our first building over here. Go forth, my minions. Come out and build some stuff. There they are, my little rice paddy guys running around taking care of business. They got their little hats on. Uh, we've also, we can send workers to collect resources. We can click on. All right, that's cool. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm all right with that. We're building a house right there. Build me, like, yeah, build me another house over here, man. I need, like, a house. There we go. Build a house right there. I thought I said that that one's going to be rotated, but it looks like it's not rotated right now. That's okay. Like, I can live with it. The barrack is the base building for the recruitment of your warriors. It gives us tigers and guards. And with the advent of technological facilities, access to the ravens and imperials. We have 100 productivity right now, and we have 150 commerce. I think we can actually do that. But first, let's go back. The enemy is actively building troops, and soon they will come for your city. For defense, build a bar- Oh, they want me to do a barracks right now. Okay, we'll do a barracks then. Let's do a barracks right there. Get that thing done. I'm going to go back to my economy menu. We got two guys on construction. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Oh, really? We got too many people working on that. There we go. So apparently my efficiency was no good because we've got too many people working on the same construction node. Sounds fine to me. Yeah, get my barracks done down here. I need soldiers. I need riders. I need people that are ready to go. Uh, we'll go with tigers. All right, so Tigers cost us 40 and then 10. We can afford that. Yeah, build a couple of them. That's cool. That sounds good. So they're training over here. How long does that take? Like a while, or does it take, like, you know, do they come out, like, instantly? You know what I mean? I need to know what, like, what scale are we working with here? In my admin, we'll go back over here. Looks like people are mostly, like, doing what they need to do right now. Yeah, it looks like it takes some time. There's our tiger units right there. Each unit of the game has specializations. Weak in one situation, but strong in another. Information about it, you can see on the lower center of your screen. Okay, so these guys are super ineffective against heavy troops, and it looks like cavalry. They're effective against normal troops, and it looks like they're excellent against something, like axemen, maybe? I don't know what those are. They look like they have halberds or something. Either way, we have soldiers now, so that's pretty cool. Where is the enemy going to be coming from? From over there? All right, put our soldiers over there. Yeah, it seems like we're up on top of a little precipice right now. So I'll put our guys over here so that they can defend the gap. And as far as construction goes, we can do a fort. All right, so it allows us to hire hurricanes. There are free workers in your city. Recommended that you distribute them. Press the space bar on the camera. We'll move to the city's free workers. Is it those guys right there? Maybe I'll put them on that right there. Perfect. And so these guys are done. Keep making, yeah, make me some more tiger troops real fast. Your city brings few resources. Recommend you have eight houses in your city. Okay. I guess I'll have eight houses in my city then. 
Yeah, go ahead and like do your thing. Yup. Go ahead, little construction guys. I give you my permission. Build as much as you want to build. Over here, we're like recruiting some troops at the barracks. Sounds pretty raw. Houses are being built right now. Keep them going. Yeah. I want more of these dudes over here. I need them all to be like up in the pass right now, just making sure that we're protecting stuff. So you guys head off in that direction and take care of business. And what other stuff can I build? We can go with a workshop. So we've got a technological building right here. Yeah, let's build a workshop real fast. And then we've got the order as a technological building. You can study personal modification for light troops. Build one of those two. Oh, there's another gate over there. Weak. Okay, so you guys come over here and protect this side. Go down to the bottom. We're going to need some more troops on this side to make sure that things don't get too rowdy. We've got, like, limited building space, though, so I kind of want to be careful about what I'm doing over here. There are new troops available in barracks and forts. If you want to move to their order, press the space bar. What can I build now? Oh, we can do... We can do... Okay, we've got Ashigarus. All right, so we've got ourselves, like, some uh, archers over here that we can build. Yeah, build me some archers. That sounds good. Archers sound raw. We have enough troops to attack. We recommend you select the units and send them to the enemy city. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I want to build up a little bit more. I want to become more strong. I want to become more stronger. I want to strong it on out over here. You guys guard that bridge, though, real fast. There's a limited amount of resources around the city. We can build a new city to strengthen the economy. We can also build a settler in our administration. Okay. All right. Sure. Why not? I feel like I have a lot of stuff going on right now. A little over I'm a little I'm a little overwhelmed, alright? I'm a little tiny bit overwhelmed. I feel like this gate is mostly protected. Let's bring these guys back over this way. And we'll have them kind of line up on this side just in case. I'm a defensive player, in case you didn't know. I know that they've already told me to attack, but I'm a defensive guy. We're approaching our limit. Okay, so we can build new farms. Alright. Yeah, put in some farms, man. That sounds good. We'll build a couple of farms so that we have more requisition. You guys maybe come over here. Guard the bridge with those guys. There's not enough commerce. In this regard, the project is paused. To get more commerce, we can remove the project from pause on the... Uh, on the what? On the what? What's going on right now? What's going on right now with my commerce? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta earn some money here. Oh, uh, I see what they mean. We're putting stuff on pause till we have enough resources. I think I overdid it with the farms, y'all. Congratulations. We have a settler. We can build a new city. Okay. Um, They want me to go up there? That's kind of far. I'm a little scared. That's a little far. Like, I don't want to have to escort them, but it seems like it wants me to do it right now. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're going to send them on over there. And hopefully my little guardsmen down here can take care of business and make sure that they stay safe. Let's push forward and press the attack, I guess. My archers and whatnot have not gotten finished, but that's okay. I'm going to unpause these dudes. Yeah, there you go. Finish them off. Oh, we've got an enemy attack coming. Let's see what happens. So what are those little guys right there? Hold up. Where are my archers at? Where, my, where Where's my little archers at? I need my archers. Send them on up here. Uh, commanding, the first battle of your troops has begun. We recommend that you send reinforcements to this battle. Guard can create a wall of shields which allows them to reduce the damage from fire, but this, they cannot move in that mode. All right. All right. All right. What are those, like archers? Yeah, go kill the archers. Go murder them. Go stab these dudes in the face. They're fighting under the cover of trees. There's a building in which you can learn technology for your city. We'll strengthen your troops. All right, we'll do that later. Are we winning down here? I can't tell. It looks like we're winning. I think we've got the Templars covered. I think we're good to go. Bring these guys back. We lost one of our units right there, though, which kind of sucks. All right, you guys hang out right there and make sure that you're like, yeah, there you go. Build a little, yeah, wall of shields right there. Hell yeah, dude. Put up a shield wall right there so they can't shoot arrows back at us. I'm not down with getting arrows shot at me. Did we build our city? Oh, shit. Let's move our guards up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The city is undefended. The city is undefended. Bring them bring them up to here. All right, so on this side, we've got, like, 
some settlers and stuff. Maybe we'll build like some houses over here. I think I rotated my camera. Yeah, let's do a house or two over here. I think we start with some basic workers on this side, so they should be able to get that done. They're guarding up there. Did my other archers get finished off? Oh, they did? Nice. Okay, bring the archers over here. Uh, Commander has a lot of resources. You should build a fort in your city to move the city. Uh, why would I want to build a fort? What does a fort do? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'll put it near a defensive choke point because a fort sounds like something that might be helpful. Let's maybe... We've got workshop. We've got Lord's Council. We've got a garrison. Yeah, like maybe... Put in a garrison like over there. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe that'll help out. We got some more troops down here that aren't doing anything either. But our commerce seems to be pretty good. Like we're moving along with like our resources or whatever. Yeah, you guys go up there and kind of defend this place just in case. And uh, we got some more workers. You guys work on commerce. And then we'll build a few more houses over here. Looks good. All right, so we'll let them work on that for right now. I probably need to keep my barracks cooking. We've got Ravens Light Infantry. Let's go with the analog. They've got Riflemen with multi-charged crossbows. That sounds pretty... That sounds pretty radical. I guess do a couple Ravens, I guess. And, like, maybe another Barracks, like, right there so that I can double train. All right, you guys move forward. You guys need to drop your shield wall, though. And let's see what we can find off in this direction. Let's go. Let's go see what the enemy has available for us over here. Maybe we can actually get ourselves into some trouble. Kind of dig them out of their trenches. How are things doing over here? Did you guys get those houses done? Oh, you did. Nice. Okay, so with admin, you guys go do that. And maybe a little bit more commerce. And I think that sounds fine. Just fine. So what's up with the garrison fort thing that we built? Oh, it's just a bunch of little guys inside of like a paper house. Okay, that works. Got a few more soldiers over here. These guys have smoke bombs. I played around with these in the tutorial. It basically eliminates, like, archer fire. So if you have to advance into a line of people that have a lot of archers, uh, they take care of that for you. I know. I've got barracks and stuff that are just, like, chilling. What does the fort do? Oh, it makes cavalry? Ooh. Mobile artillery with a rocket launcher. Or we can have... Chinese cavalry over here. It looks like they're pretty expensive, though. Let's get some more ravens over here. I think our barracks is just draw from the general pool. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, just keep them cooking right now. We got lots of resources, so I'm okay with the training rate. These guys over here could probably use a few more houses, maybe. Not a valid building place. Okay, well, maybe I'll build something else over here. We got, like, what, a workshop? I think I already did the workshop, didn't I? I think I did a workshop down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Light Armor 1 real fast. Add that to the queue and get that knocked out. We got Ravens flowing through right now. Oh. All right, let's take these dudes over to here. All right, everybody on the bridges real fast. And as we move these troops along, let's go ahead and move them to the front lines. Archers, you be in the back over here just in case. I want you guys to be protected. I need you guys to be protected. Move out. Under skies. Ready. Where's the enemy at? I don't know where they're at. Oh, they're probably up those stairs over there. They said this was a dual map, so I bet it's mirrored. I bet you. I bet you it's mirrored. All right, so let's, like, pool up for a second before we get over here. Yeah, you guys come over to here and, like, get in with that group right there. And then we'll take these guys over here. And I think my archers got stuck. They're looking a little special right now. They're not looking good at their jobs, okay? They're not looking like they are exceedingly successful at whatever their job is. Uh, you guys, yeah, pull up here too. Yup, I want more soldiers. Let's do it. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Me, 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 me. All right, you guys be in the back, and we'll move them on up. Looks good. We've got this little retinue coming down here. 
Oh, it's about to be it's about to be messed up for the Templars. Templars are about to have a rough day. Templars are about to get skilled on out here. I can tell you that much for certain, because my pockets ain't hurting, and we're working and never shirking, so that we can always be lurking up in the forest, rocking a gherkin. All right, let's bring these dudes over here. As you can tell, I'm not an RTS gamer, so my clicks per second are probably not amazing, okay? My clicks per second, probably not super hot right now. But, you know, we're getting it done. We're having some fun with it. What's up with this unit over here? Why are they not moving? Oh, they're archers? Okay, bring the archers up to the back. And then, once everybody arrives, we'll go ahead and commence the hurling. We will ungaroi. That's right, Elv I just spoke Elvish on- I just spoke Elvish on you. I spoke Elvish on you. What y'all gonna do when I speak Elvish on you? You guys here yet? So we got a few more archers on their way. Sounds good. We've got a fairly- we've got a fairly diverse group over here. If we need heavy cavalry or whatever, we'll get on it. Did we already finish off that workshop project? Oh yeah, let's go with melee weapons then. Make us a little bit stronger. I assume that this is like a training wheels map. Or I guess I'm playing on beginner right now, so they're probably not even pressing on me that hard. We do have enemies over here, though. Alright, so you guys, I want, like... You guys move in and just, like, start the attack, yeah? You guys stay back here with the archers. Kind of just, like, do your thing. Guys, my Karushin has increased. You gotta watch out for that horrible Karushin. Karushin gets after us. Yeah, you guys just come on in here. Just get to be a part of it. And it looks like we're duking it out with some soldiers down here. But they are getting laid the hell out. Alright, so we can move the point of collection of troops. Yeah, I figured there would probably be like a pooling or something like that that we could do. Uh, yeah, you guys get on in here and torch some buildings, will you? Torch some buildings for me. Take care of the business. The enemy only had one defender, so you know what? Not that bad. Maybe I should have just played on normal. I don't know. I feel like that was underwhelming. Like, I feel like I could have had a better experience if I had played on normal. We're over here, like, raising and destroying and annihilating all of the beautiful architecture of the European forces. Not to say that our architecture is not beautiful either. The terraces and whatnot. But, you know, this is what they get, man. This is what they get for not building their roofs in, in swoopy triangles like we do. That's really the crux of this issue right here. That's the only reason we're at war. They build, like, rounded straight roofs, and we have, like, you know, we have curvy triangle roofs. And it's like a Dr. Seuss thing where we just, we can't stand it. We can't stand it. Build your roofs like us or die. I think we may be uh, slightly victorious over here. It appears as though we are doing all right, and their city is taking a serious beating right now. That's mostly because I don't even think they bothered to defend it. I think beginner might have been an understatement. All right, cool. Whatever. We'll go ahead and make a new city. I mean, we still got time left in the episode, so I don't see a problem with making a new sexy city out here. The Rise of the Sun. Yeah, let's do Rise of the Sun, man. That sounds rad. Let's play as Europe this time. We'll put it on normal. Let's go. It's time for us to ride on out. Rise of the Sun is a large map where you can improve your skills to play with the AI. It's a border location, a variety of places for building cities, trading, and tactical maneuvers. Oh, they don't even know the Tic Tacs that are coming at them right now. The Tic Tacs are about to get so real. The Tic Tacs are about to be disgusting. Yeah, build me some houses real fast. We're going to focus on houses first so that I have lots of workers. There you go. Just get that all nice and mashed out. And then we'll go back to administration, we'll put some people on this, put some people on that, keep the workers going, and as these free up, we'll go ahead and keep ourselves rolling. It looks like most of our basics are ready to go right now. That's okay, we can have the reduced production, I'm alright with that. And then from there we'll go back to construction, let's make some barracks over here. And after our barracks is done, we'll start training some troops and getting ready for the war at hand. Looks like we got a water source over there, we don't have enough commerce. Oh, weak, man. Superty duperty weak. Yeah, assign some more people over to commerce. We gotta do some trade up inside of here. We got we gotta flip some goods. We gotta get some gold, some kroner, some pounds sterling. Whatever it is that appears to be gorgeous to all of you. So that's on pause. We can unpause it in just a minute if we wanted to. We got some of our resources back. 
Let's go back to here. We'll go with the barracks on that side. I think we can afford it now that our commerce is rolling. But I think we're pretty much, like, maxed out at this location. We're going to have to get a settler and, like, send them off to a new spot. We've got, like, a stairwell right there. Okay. Are we, like, mostly concealed? Or do we have, like, access points where the enemy can hit us from? What is that and what does it do? I guess it's, like, a tower of some kind. I, I don't know if it's, like, an environmental building or if it actually helps. Uh, go ahead and get me some troopers. We got heavy... Infantry. They are Drizhniks of Russia, and they are armed with a sword and a massive shield, which is effective against shooters. All right. Keep those uh, shooters in the street taken care of. I'll get, like, three units over there, then, like, three units over there, and then we should be solid to go. What else can I do here? We have administration. Let's go with technological building we can study improvements yeah I think that's probably a good idea let's build one of those we're starting to flow on cash right now so I don't have a problem with adding some extra stuff you can also build a fort if we wanted to have cavalry might be a decent idea let's keep these guys being produced out here we're gonna have three over here and three over here just in case the enemy comes I don't know if they will but what is this guy's special ability right here they can camp what does camping do Maybe it makes them heal or something like that. We don't have, like, a tooltip description of what it actively does, so... I don't know. Our arsenal, let's go ahead and work on heavy armor, since that appears to be the wheelhouse that we are operating out of right now. It looks like China has a lot of light units, and it looks like Europe has a lot of heavy units. Not to say that they both don't have both, but, like, it seems like that seems to be, like, the distribution of troops between the two. Alright, so we got three over there, and then we'll put three over here. So let me get one more right there, and then we'll swap the spawn point on that side. Uh, we're doing okay on money right now. We're not, like, killing it on money, but we're doing all right. Did we already get the heavy armor done? Oh, no, the heavy armor's being worked on right now. Okay, I'll probably work on melee weapons next, too, to make sure that our bardishes and our axes and everything else. We have a Patriot Light Shooter. They are the analog of Cossacks, and they have pistols and sabers. That actually sounds pretty dope. I think I'm okay with that right there. A couple of Cossack troopers up inside of here. Yeah, buddy. Uh, free military infrastructure. There are bases that do nothing. Yeah, I know. I know, but we're kind of like on the edge right now. I guess we'll put some shooters over here. We also have Hawks, which are heavy Polish Hussars. Let's get some shooters first. We don't have like any range right now. We already have a lot of heavy units. And so I think I would rather have, like, some light units that can fire some guns or whatever. We finished off our armor. It's going to cost us 200 to do the next part. Let's go ahead and we'll upgrade our melee weapons next. Oh, we're under attack right now. We're actually fighting. Okay, well, it's heavy units against light units, so they should be able to take them unless we're flanked or something else like that. Like, it looks like we're pushing on in right now. Heavy infantry's taking a little bit of damage. Oh, it's not sending our units over there. Our guys from this side are, like, rallying on these dudes because they see the combat happening. Okay, the supply limit in your cities is approaching their limit value. Oh, shit, we needed to get some farms. No! I lost my clicker. I was trying to shift-click some farms out. There we go. We'll put a farm right there. That'll increase our, that'll increase our unit values. It looks like we're winning okay down here. We've taken about half damage. Uh, you guys go guard this pass over here just in case. Yeah, I was going to say, we need our we need our Polish cavalry or their Russian cavalry or whatever they are. They're going to be the back line. Uh, you guys can camp for a second. I think that's how I heal them. I think I skipped a tooltip. Yeah, I think I did. I wonder how I heal them. I know there's healing units like priests and stuff like that that you can use to heal. I feel like we're reasonably well guarded over here. I think that uh, we could probably get some hussars. Why not? Oh, we can't do hussars yet. We need more buildings if we wanted to do some hussars, I think. Let's see. We can do personal modification, the engineering yard. Do I have to research the Hussars? Or do I just, like, get those? We need an engineering yard. Okay. Well, then, let's do an engineering yard, like, right there. That looks good to me. We'll go ahead and cut that off real fast. 
I'm getting like some weird chugs right now while I'm playing through, but that's okay. We're basically out of time for the episode anyways. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Taste of Battle. It's an RTS that's currently in development. It's an early alpha right now, where apparently we are Russians or Chinese fighting with each other. If you wanted to get the game, I've got it for you down below. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. There's always more room here at the Nerd Castle for RTS games. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do. Take care, everybody, and uh, that's it for me.